Hello and welcome back to part two of my survival machete survival kit building section, so to speak. And uh, this time I want to show you the assembly and um, yeah, the enhanced features of version 2.0. Okay, first off, I have some new contents. This is all you know, this is the button compass, the condom, the um, aspirin, water purification tablet, Ziploc bag, the uh, OB Pro Comfort and the uh, Mini Big. Okay, what I want to add are two safety pins. And the reason for that is safety pins are very practical. They don't take up much space. They are lightweight and you can improvise fishing hooks with them. So not only do you get the paracord for potentially uh, snare trapping, but you could also fish. Um, then I wanted to include a piece of aluminum foil. First off to increase the water resistance of the Ziploc bag and to keep all the contents dry. Second off for signaling and for a small container building. And then I want to add some uh, extra cordage and this is dental floss. So this is made from nylon. It has a very high breaking strength. <laughs> you can also take care of your teeth if you want to. And you can do all kinds of uh, yeah cool stuff with it, including fishing after you build your fishing hook out of one of those safety pins. Okay, I don't know if this is going to work out, but I will try. This might take a minute longer, so stay with me. Okay, let's see if we can get this done. First off, we're going to roll this up. And put it in the first third of the aluminum foil. And you want to grab your condom and put the pills basically inside. Then we take our safety pins, put them behind it. And then well, we have to readjust this more to the uh, out of the center, like so. Make this a nice roll. Hope to keep this in frame for you. This looks nice. Okay. So we got it rolled up. Then you want to crumble and compress oops, the end of this. And the rest of the part. Let's see if we can get this stuffed and to the side of the handle just for comparison purposes so that looks in frame yes <laughs> this looks good now we fold this over like so just fold this up and also seal this end. Looks okay. Now let's try if we can bring this in. Well, it doesn't really want to go, but Let's see if we can use this to our advantage. We have the dental floss. These are about two meters of it. Now, take one end of this. And this machete is, yes, low price segment. So here's a gap. 
between the blade and the handle where they spot welded it and we're going to use it to insert fully can see that our dental floss and just stuff it in there so that already starts to come out of the handle da -da -da, dental floss <laughs> okay so grab this pull this out most of the way or half of the way no most of the way makes more sense okay and we leave about I don't know 10 centimeters so four inches on the upper end and then Get this back in frame. There we have our package. First off, we're going to compress this a little bit more, hopefully. And we're going to start to wrap around the dental floss, like so. Make it a nice and tight fit. Just crosswise all around. This way you're going to compress the aluminum foil even a little more. So chances of getting this piece in definitely increase. So one time around the end. Yep, it's at the beginning. Then just wrap some more. So this gives a little additional strength. Oh no, our stars coming loose. Okay, so we take that back. And wrapping, wrapping. Now, if you get to the end, make sure that you don't lose the beginning of this. Okay, just one more time around. Maybe twice. Now that's the critical part. Just insert this piece as far as you can and at the same time pull on the upper end. This makes it a lot more easier. And there we go. Almost done. Just a little tiny bit more and if you want to get that back out basically what's what you do you grab the dental floss and then you, then you just pull back out on it so it should be easy in theory and we screw on the back and we are done with version 2 if you want to, you can cut off the string or you can just wrap it inside the paracord handle. Okay, thanks for watching and see you basically in part three.